To help boost Korea's exports in these uncertain times, President Yoon has announced more than a quarter trillion dollars in trade financing. The government's also going to focus on ensuring that Korea's logistics systems are the best in the world and on helping exporters win deals to build infrastructure overseas. Yoon Jung-min reports. South Korea is doing all it can to shore up exports and overseas construction projects. This was President Yoon song yeols main focus at a weekly economic affairs meeting on Wednesday at Busan New Port in the city of Changwon. The president has vowed to remove hurdles for exporters as fast as possible. For that, there will be record levels of trade financing for exporters worth 351 trillion Korean won or some 261 billion U.S. dollars. At the same time, the government is looking into cutting more red tape for businesses. Korea also aims to strengthen its competitiveness for overseas construction projects targeting markets in the Middle East, Asia, and Central and South America. Yoon will continue with his sales diplomacy, hoping for another overseas construction boom, citing recent deals with Poland and Egypt for arms sales and the nuclear power plant project, respectively. Meanwhile, Seoul aims to manage trade relations with Beijing, seeking more cooperation in ICT and green industry amid a recent decline in exports to China. While chip prices are falling, officials say high energy prices also remain a concern responsible for Korea's month-long trade deficit. Yoon Jung-min, Arirang News.